What's up guys, welcome to Unleash the Beast. My name is Davis, and this channel is basically just about making you better, helping you get better, and anything along those lines. And today I'm going to be going over the five, 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 yeah, five, five top YouTube fitness channels in my personal opinion. I'm just going to label them off what I watch, what I use. Um, if you don't know what I look like or like where my body is at or, you know, what I do, uh, I'm basically, I'm kind of like an amateur bodybuilder, but I don't compete at all. I, I've got no intentions of competing. I don't really want to compete. Plus, I think I'd get wrecked if I did compete. And I'm pretty good at getting lean. I'm pretty good at building muscle. I pretty much know my way around the gym, nutrition, etc. So I'm, 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 pretty knowledgeable on those things it's been a big part of my life for a long time now that being said let's go ahead and get into the video some water real quick i think that the first uh fitness youtube channel that i'd like to mention that i'm watching uh right now is and i'm gonna have all the links in the description by the way so if you just want to skip the entire fucking video be my guest hit that subscribe button first because fuck yeah i'm gonna have all the links to all these channels in the description but i think uh the first one i have to mention and this is probably my number one right now uh i really like watching his videos and i know he's probably been mentioned a lot but uh jeff nippard i think is what his name is I'm gonna call him jeff nimrod because i think that sounds a lot better but that dude is extremely knowledgeable he's a he's a short little guy he's like i don't know like like five foot tall he's like a midget but he's like fucking he's he's jacked he's jacked and he knows what he's talking about i don't agree with uh some of the things that he does but uh for the most part i agree with everything um like i don't agree with like not tracking your macros on a cut i know that he said it's for his like psychological you know mind uh, fuck dude i'm tracking my macros on on this bulk you know i, I, I never go over 3,000 calories it does i mean like once you diet down lean and then you start and then you slowly add calories back in and you hit those every day you know you start building muscle and it, it, you just recomp yourself it just looks a lot better but yeah jeff nippard for sure check him out um number two would have to be uh matt does fitness is what i think his name is uh if i said that wrong i'll have whatever uh it, i'll have his name up on the screen and like i said links in the description so don't get all why is this fuzzy over here oh. all right hang on wait a minute wait a minute guys hold up yeah no more fuzzy right here okay um yeah matt does fitness he's a british guy or australian or so one of those funny accents he's very knowledgeable as well um a lot of people think that he's not natural, but in my personal opinion, I think that he is natural. Just because, like, uh, people factor out genetics, like, really, and, and good lighting. Good lighting and genetics. It's like, people think that those don't exist or something, um, but they definitely do. I've never took a steroid in my life, but uh, some of my pictures, I, I could put up the, you know, uh, other bodybuilders' pictures that have been accused of taking steroids, and I feel like I would do quite well. Um, um, you know, and I've never, I've never touched any shit, but yeah, Matt does fitness, I think is what his name is, um, he always has his little baby on there, I think that's, that's cool, and then, uh, uh, he, yeah, he's just, he's a very knowledgeable dude, They're pretty funny, the only thing that I don't like about him is, like, at the end of his videos, he does some, like, fucking bullshit little, like, kiss thing, that's kind of, that's, that's a little weird, I wish he wouldn't do that shit, but other than that, I mean, you know he's straight, because he's got a hot-ass girlfriend, same with Jeff Nippert, fucking hot fucking girls, man, like, I mean, fuck, they're good looking, but anyway, number three, uh, um, I think the next person that you have to mention would be Chris Jones, uh, uh, from physiques of greatness is what his original channel was and now i know it's like pump chasers this guy has been around the industry for a very long time watch his videos when he had less than like 500 views a video and like maybe less than 200 subscribers i've been subscribed to his channel for since, since he started and uh to see him like get that it shows that normal people can do this you know and i i really really respect that um uh, just because I, I watched him go from nothing, he he went from like having this car to this car to that car to this girl to that girl, and now he's got a baby, and uh, he's he's just jacked. He's he's fucking he's jacked. So um, 
yeah, I definitely recommend Chris Jones from uh, Pump Chasers. His old channel was Physiques of Greatness, but something happened along those lines. Um, I've looked into it, but I think it's just kind of weird. Because, I mean, basically happened is this dude named Vince G, which they were like buddies forever man it's kind of, it's kind of heartbreaking really to like see that that like died you know because they were like real good friends whenever i first watched their video like real good friends now everybody hates this vince guy and the vince dude was never really motivated like chris was chris jones was just like you know uh, what was it? Curls for the girls and rose for the hoes. And that's why I liked him. You know, he was fucking funny as hell. So definitely Chris Jones at number three. Um, number four this is going to be hard. I'm going to leave out Matt Ogus. I'm going to leave out Matt Ogus. He would be a good, uh, good place for number four, but I'm going to leave him out because he just had a baby too. And I've, again, I've watched his videos since uh, nothing since he had nothing. And, um, and uh, he, yeah, he just doesn't upload very frequently, so I don't want to tell y'all guys to go watch him because he he just he doesn't he's kind of you can tell he's kind of lost interest in it. So Max Tuning, I think that Max Tuning um, is an excellent. Sorry, something popped up on my fucking screen. Uh, the, all these people follow the same like nutritional guidelines and their training program is pretty much the same. And yeah, you know, they do a little bit different stuff. Some are bodybuilders, some are physique competitors, but they, they they'll tell you how to get to where you need to go. And they put it right in your face. You don't have to buy their programs. They literally put it right in your face. But Max Tuning, I like because uh, I watched his videos again. It, uh, man, uh, since bare minimum and then you know you look at this guy you know you, you you fall off for a couple years like i did and you come back and you look at this guy and it's like holy hell this dude's fucking got eleven thousand, ten thousand fucking and fucking views on his damn shit you know um on on his instagram and some of his videos i'm sure have like over a million i'm sure he's got he's got his own gym now it's like this shit is crazy man i mean they really they're really motivated individuals it's, it's a lot to look up to so max tuning i like him just because he kind of like he shows the uh more fun side of things like you don't have to really take it that serious uh you know because he's you know always drinking uh that's what that's what i like about him you know he, he still has a good time even though he, he's a he's a fitness quote unquote fitness guru or whatever whatever the fuck you want to say but uh yeah definitely max tuning and then uh the last place that uh for number five and uh these are not in any particular order i will say that jeff uh nimrod is my favorite but uh if my fucking screen don't quit going black like what the hell um but in fifth place i definitely got to give it to christian guzman uh, I, again, <laughs> and I know I keep saying this with every fucking one, but I've, I literally, I'm serious. Like when I, whenever I was getting into fitness, whenever I was getting into changing my body, there wasn't a lot of people. And these are like some of the original, uh, people, well, not the like original, like the Hodge twins, the Hodge came in pretty early on them. You know, I mean, I was watching their videos very, very early on and, um, but Christian Guzman, I, I, I remember when he started his channel, he had a little apartment. I don't know where he's living now, but it was like a little apartment. He used to do like grocery shopping videos and, and just, a, he had some really good, uh, information, you know, um, and he still does. He still does. Uh, uh, you know, and I'm pretty sure he has his own gym. I remember when he got his own gym. I don't know how that's going. Um, but I know me and him have a very similar situation because of me and the hurricane like, kind of like wiped it out and that's kind of like me because I live in Florida and, uh, yeah, Hurricane Michael went and fucked all my shit up. Um, so, you know, I feel for him and, you know, he, he's a very, uh, very intellectual, very smart dude, uh, good information. Um, I mean, what really, what more can you want from these people? You know, you, you pretty much get it all. Um, you could really watch one of these people and be okay fitness wise. You you will learn so much if you just like pay attention. Um, I am going to brag on Jeff Nimrod just a little bit or Nippard or whatever. I like calling him Nimrod. Um, just because he is so like science based. I love how he puts up studies and shit and like explains it. And on top of that, man, when you're like trying to be a personal trainer and stuff, he actually talks a lot about like just indirectly. He doesn't even mean to, but he taught, he, 
has a lot of similar information because I'm getting, I'm just about to go take my personal training uh, exam. I'm finally on my practice test. I'm finally getting up there in like the eighties and nineties and, and I'm ready to go get certified to be a personal trainer. But, uh, he, he does that shit on accident. Anyway, um, that's where I'm going to end the video. If you like the video, please subscribe. Uh, if you don't like the video, subscribe anyway, because fuck you. And uh, hope you guys are doing well. I hope this video was uh, informative. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.